Hello coders, I welcome you all. In this video, we are going to discuss types of data in machine learning. As you know, data is the new oil. Today, data is everywhere in every field. So it is very important to know the types of data to process them and get the right results. So let's get started. So there are many types of data in machine learning. Some of common types of data includes numerical data and categorical data. So there are two types of numerical data, continuous and discrete. Categorical data can be nominal or ordinal. So now continuous data. So continuous data is a type of numerical data that can take any value within a certain range. Continuous data include a person's height, the price of a house, a person's weight and the speed of the car, etc. So these are continuous data that can take any value within a certain range. Next discrete data. So discrete data is a type of numerical data can only take on specific distinct values. Some examples of discrete data include the number of children in a family, number of classes attended by a student. As you can see here, as I said, discrete data is a type of numerical data can only take on specific distinct values. Here you can see number of classes attended by a student 30, 40, 50, etc. But all are distinct values. Next, the number of votes received by a candidate in an election. Next example, number of customers visiting a store in a given day. Next example, number of times a user clicks on a website. So here you can see all example contain specific distinct values that you can see over here. So that's why it is a part of numerical discrete data that you can see over here. Next nominal. So nominal data is a type of categorical data that doesn't have any inherent order or ranking. So nominal data is often used to classify or label items rather than to measure or quantify them. Some examples of nominal data include a person's gender, male or female, the types of car a person drives, sedan, SUV, etc. The departments a person works in, sales, marketing, finance, etc. Next example, the type of pizza topping a person prefers, pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, etc. Next example, the types of animal a person owns like cat, dog, birds, etc. So these are categorical nominal data. As you can see here, they doesn't have any inherent order or ranking. Here, male is not greater than female. Female is not greater than male or are equal. So this type of data called as nominal data that doesn't have any inherent order or ranking that you can see over here. So now next ordinal data. So ordinal data is a type of categorical data that has inherent order or ranking. Ordinal data can be ranked or ordered. Some examples of ordinal data include a person's level of satisfaction with a product or service. Very satisfied, satisfied, neutral, dissatisfied, etc. So here you can see level of very satisfied obviously greater than satisfied, right? So as you can see here in such type of data inherent order is present. So this type of data is called as ordinal data. Next example, a person's level of agreement with a statement strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, strongly disagree. Here you can see again strongly agree is greater than agree. Again here you can see inherent order is present. So this is an example of ordinal data. Next example, the quality of a wine, poor, fair, good, excellent. Here you can see excellent is greater than good. So here again inherent order is present, ranking is present. So this is an example of ordinal data. Next example. So the level of difficulty of a test or exam like easy, medium, hard. Here hard is greater than medium. So again inherent order is present. Again this is an ordinal data. So these are very common types of data that we have to handle in machine learning. So it is very important to know types of data to process them and get the results. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel. If you like this video, smash that like button. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. Bye bye. See you in the next video.